Next, we need to go and calculate the velocity. And what we already do know, let's just go write down everything that we know again. We know that our acceleration is 6.1 meters per second squared. We also know that the velocity, the future velocity, um, sorry, the initial velocity was 0 meters per second. Okay, then we know that our time, delta t, was given as nine meters per as uh, nine seconds, and then we've all we were asked to calculate the displacement, the distance traveled. Got that as two forty seven point zero five meters. Zero five meters. Okay, that was done in the previous question. Okay, now you notice that we actually have four known values and this time we're asked to calculate the velocity and which velocity well they say to us after nine seconds find its velocity so after nine seconds um, means we are trying to find the future velocity okay so we can actually this time use any of the future velocity formulas which means this one we have vi we have a we have t this one um, has vf in that we're trying to calculate we have vi a and delta x in this one uh, we have to calculate um, vf and it doesn't have vf this one we have to calculate vf we have vi we have delta t we have x this one we have vf we um, or we want VF, we have VI, we have delta T, and we want, uh, we have acceleration. So we can use any of the formulas as long as it contains VF. The only suggestion I would have is this one was calculated in the previous step. So if I made a mistake calculating delta X, I'm going to make a mistake in this answer as well if I use delta x so I rather prefer not to use delta x but if you did it correctly your answer should be 100% perfect this formula does not contain delta x so I feel a little bit safer choosing that formula okay in our stock taking however we must place in all of the values that we do know if you leave out a value that you've already calculated your answer will be wrong okay so let's put in all of the values that would be zero we don't have the average velocity. Do we have the future velocity? No, that's what we're trying to calculate. Delta um, x is 247.05. Delta t is 9 seconds. And acceleration is 6.1 meters per second. OK, so let's substitute Okay, into the formula that I said I wanted to use. I want to use the future value is equal to the initial value plus a delta t. Okay, my initial value being zero meters per second, my acceleration being 6.1 meters per second squared, and my time being nine seconds. Using my calculator, I see that zero plus 6.1 times nine equals 54.9 54.9 meters per second that's what it's traveling at okay so let's go and do our substitution step so velocity again just make sure ignore any deltas and subscripts in these steps so instead of putting future velocity um, I'm just going to put velocity is equal to and now for initial velocity 0 plus a is 6.1 times delta t is 9 seconds let's preview there we go that looks like what I have written there that velocity is equal to 0 plus 6.1 times 9 and then I sub um, I write my answer as velocity is equal to I worked it out 54.9 meters per second and I would like to write it like that cool that looks good